Hello and welcome to TXM TV. I'm Anthony Klein and I'm joined by uh, Rob Chindon. Hi Rob. Yeah, hi Anthony. Hello everyone again. And, uh, and today we're talking about uh, the role of a leader and uh, leadership is so much more than uh, getting the work done. It's all about rapport and managing people. And uh, the two topics that uh, I will be talking about today is spending time at the workplace and building relationships. And, uh, and Rob, you'll talk about supporting the teams and, and helping them build stability. So, uh, so with the establishing rapport in the workplace, one of the, one of the key things that uh, I'm finding is to, to do it by talking, knowing what makes people tick. And, uh, and a lot of people have, uh, have relationships with very furry friends and, uh, and it's important to understand exactly uh, what their friends are and, uh, and, and how, they, how they go about providing that emotional comfort, and especially in a, in a changing world where, where adaptability is, uh, is needed. And these are some of the photos that I've collected from uh, TXM workshops from our clients. And, uh, and during the workshops, I put them up on the screen and it just provides a, uh, a really nice emotional distraction for our, um, for our content but it, uh, it enables work teams to connect and, uh, and by recognising that it's, uh, it's really is a lot of fun uh, talking about people's animals. Uh, this is Axel's uh, puppy in, uh, in a black and white photo and uh, he's got the, the colour version of the, the same photo and uh, the younger one of his, of his puppy. And, uh, and it's just so many lovely photos of uh, people's dogs and each, each photo has a bit of a story about where it was and when it was. And then this is another, another puppy, which is uh, just a young one, and, uh, and, and this helps establish rapport. And so having done that, knowing what, people what makes people tick uh, just helps at, at a respect level, at a personal level, and it makes work fun. And so uh, it's very important to do that. And then when you're with the people, um, it's about providing certainty, and uh, and the certainty comes stability. Rob, um, what what is it we can help people do with stability? Yeah, well, it's been very challenging times for the word stability, Anthony, and, and getting everyone to be uh, comfortable is is a bit of a, a, a quite a challenge. So, when we talk about supporting teams to build stability, it's very important to go to the work site, to go down and see. So yeah, no, no point doing this in a boardroom. Uh, go and see where the work is, is going along. And a lot of this stuff we, we try to incorporate into leader standard work. So a leader of, of a team is supposed to address the uncertainty, uh, call it out, you know, uh, acknowledge that uncertainty is part of the process, right? And, and the leader has to take that, that uncertainty, which might be leading to volatility and turn it into, you know, how's this going to help us achieve our vision? Also, try and develop some uh, understanding within the team that this uncertainty is there and what are we doing about addressing it and developing those behaviours and practices that, that overcome it. We're not going to solve sometimes the uncertainty that exists, but we've got to learn to deal with it and, and respond as best we can and, and strive for that excellence. You know, and, and in leader standard, we're trying to in, always engage with standards. So what are the standards uh, that, we, that we do in our process that we can hold to do and, and deliver on, regardless of the uncertainty. Uh, so a leader also would point out what looks good. So in, in, a, in a leader standard working for a team, we certainly want to have a common understanding of what is expected and how we deliver on the products or the services that we're delivering. Uh, we want to make sure our leaders and our, and our employees are all aligned to the vision that we're trying to do at this point in time. And your business may have had an altered change at, at the current climate. And ultimately falling back on routines you know, standard tasks and, and agreed behaviours that make our workplace fun and engaging to be in. So it's not just a fight to the death every day. It's something that's achievable. So, you know, supporting teams is, is a key function of a leader and, and addressing uncertainty and, and calm, bringing calm to it is, is certainly a key feature of standard work. Fantastic. And uh, together, once you've got the rapport and the respect of the people and you understand what makes them tick, then, uh, then really... Uh, understand uh, or work through and discuss the problems and support those people to, uh, to resolve issues. So, yeah, yeah, Anthony, and, and trying to get that addressed at the beginning, of, and I, I only did a presentation the other day, it's just, it is just getting that 
you've got to get that out first, that it is what we're dealing with is uncertainty and, and, and acknowledging it rather than trying to just push straight through it. Yeah, and uh, turn uncertainty into certainty. Correct. Yeah. Good work. Um, well, thank you, Rob, and, uh, and thank you for watching this, uh, this live production. Remember to comment on our LinkedIn page, and uh, we hope to see you again next episode. Bye for now. All right. Bye now, everyone.